Hey guys, it's Bub here, and if you were taking a look at a Windows XP Lite edition that personally caught my eye, this is Windows XP Super Small Lite. The ISO is only about 130 megabytes, which is significantly cut down from the original size of Windows XP. I am very intrigued to see what this actually entails, what is in this operating system, how it performs, how it looks. Some of the screenshots show me it just doesn't look like a regular lightweight version of Windows XP, which is why I'm, I'm very excited to see what this actually contains. In a way, the screenshots I saw, try not to reveal too much until we get in the operating system, they kind of look like Windows Vista in a way, even though it is Windows XP. So let's go ahead and get into this. So far, the setup is nothing out of the ordinary. I just selected Format and TFS Quick. So let's, let's see what happens. All right, and here we go. It says Windows XP setup please wait um, not sure exactly what's coming next I don't know if we'll be brought to an out-of-box experience or if we'll just be brought straight into the desktop but it appears to what well, it is detecting and installing drivers um, on this device which is this is a part of a typical Windows XP installation anyway it's plug-and-play it's now asking us where we want to install 7-zip so I'm just gonna install to the default um, also where to install notepad plus plus I'm just clicking through all the default stuff probably shouldn't have selected that. I don't want to run Notepad++ during the setup. Um, startup control panel, sure, let's install that. Um, again, I'm not entirely sure what I'm even installing, but it's popping up and it's a part of this package, so we're going to go ahead and install it. Ooh, that is a, mmm, that's an interesting logo we've got there. I am not exactly sure I like that. Uh, so the system could not log us on, although when we click on it, it appears to be letting us in it automatically named the user I believe this is the developer of it because that's not my name and I don't that just to me looks like just a bunch of random letters uh, maybe they mean something to the developer maybe it's like their name or something or a year I, I don't know I'm not entirely sure what this name is here alright and here we are so it brought us into system properties um, where we can see the Windows 11 logo uh, we can see this is Windows XP Professional uh, Service Pack 3 uh, powered and mated, that's not a word, powered and mated by Windows XP SP3 Super Small Light by, yep, that's the developer's name, blah, blah, blah. And it brings up Windows XP Super Small Light. Uh, it is also bringing us up Device Manager for some reason. And here we are. Um, first things first, I'm not actually entirely sure I'm going to be able to, but let's see if we can get VMware tools to install um, and then we'll go from there that's step one uh, we'll see if we can uh, get, get a better resolution here alright and here we go so we're just gonna go ahead and do a typical VMware install and then we'll be able to view this in full 1080p for you guys or 1440p for me I'm not sure if I want to see this in 1440p but okay let's go ahead and restart hoping that it will auto scale full screen there we go um, again that is a really ugly logo I don't like that at all uh, again it's giving us an error and then we click OK and then it works uh, for some reason the logo or the background is gone uh, but for now let's just let's make it blue just so we have a background and here we are first of all Let's look at what we have on the desktop. We have my computer with a different icon, the recycle bin with the Windows Vista or 7 icon, tools with, uh, you know, typical Windows tools here, nothing major in there, a change log that details, you know, everything that's, you know, happened since the first build here. Um, that's all, everything on the desktop by default. Our taskbar, there's the start menu that looks like Windows Vista. Uh, and then over here we have our calendar that when you double click on it, yeah, it brings up what you'd typically expect. Um, as well as your typical safely remove hardware and VMware tools that we added. Opening up the start menu, we can see that the text is kind of cut off. We have my documents, my recent documents, my pictures, my computer control panel, set program access and defaults, search and run. And then going into all programs, we can see we have very little. Set program access and defaults, Windows catalog, 7-zip, accessories, uh, volume control, Command Prompt, Notepad, Paint, Windows Explorer. Nothing in Startup, Tools, Very Basic Tools, and Notepad++. 
not really sure why Notepad++ was you know needed here, but it's there. Um, and that's that's all that's on the US operating system. Um, we can tell that we've already seen it, but I just want to demo it again. How this window border looks. It is really weird to me because this looks like a Windows Longhorn beta theme here, or what was before Windows XP, I believe Windows Whistler. Um, it looks like that theme here, but then you get over here and you have the Windows 7 and Vista styled buttons, which is really strange to me. I don't really like that at all, but it's there, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, going to my computer, going to properties, that just brings us back here. Um, nothing really exciting or anything of that nature. Um, inside tools, we have, like I said, your typical, you know, we have disk management, but that doesn't exist. That one exists. Task manager exists. Device manager exists. Registry editor exists. System properties, as well as the, that one doesn't exist. So two of the eight uh, tools are broken. Uh, not too bad. Let's look at uh, CPU usage, things like that. So we're idling at 87 megabytes of RAM. Now keep in mind, this system does have 512 megabytes of RAM. And we're also just idling at 5%, 0% CPU usage, 2%. So yeah, we are using CPU, we're using uh, RAM, but very minimal. So with that being said, let's log off. Uh, do not do it, please. That's an interesting way to put it. Let's log off. There's that ugly logo again. Let's log off and then let's see uh, you know, what that log off login process looks like and then we'll wrap it up. It's, it's really hard to really extend these videos uh, in terms of when you're looking at a super light operating system. There's that logo again. We click on it and it instantly let us in. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos including device restorations. That being said, I'll see you all in the next one.